Hey everyone, I'm Ron from Endor Labs, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can prioritize handling valid secrets with Endor Labs. So you probably heard us talk about how you can prioritize reachable vulnerabilities with Endor Labs, where we help you take a look at your source code and use program analysis to understand which of the functions in your dependencies, direct or transitive, are actually vulnerable and help you prioritize the, the ones you're really using. So with secrets, the concept of prioritization is much the same. You want to prioritize the secrets that are actually valid and that you need to pay attention to right now. So I clicked into one of my projects here and I can see that I have a bunch of findings here. These are these don't happen to be vulnerabilities. I can see some repository findings, but I want to focus on the secrets for now. So I can already see that I have two levels of these. The critical ones are my valid secrets. So these are secrets that need my attention right now. And we're going to take a look at them in just a second. And I can also see that I've leaked uh, numerous secrets over the last few days. But on these ones, my incident response team has probably done their job because these have been revoked. A leaked secret was identified, but it has been verified as inactive. So I don't need to sound the alarms on these just yet. On these two, I do need to pay attention to these right now. So let's take a look. Valid GitHub personal access token. A leaked secret has been identified in your source code and has been verified as valid. I get the location of the secret. So I can click right into this and take a look. And I can see exactly where this uh, token is. This is a hard coded secret. And I also have clear instructions for remediations. And this is exactly what I can send over to my engineering team, knowing that this is worthy of their time because this is a valid GitHub token that uh, we have found in our code. But let's take a look at how this looks like from the developer perspective. So I have a PR here, for example, that makes some changes to a CI file. And I can see that it now exposes this variable. So we have a hard coded secret here. And we can see that Ender Labs flag this right here inside of GitHub, where I never expect my developer to, to leave GitHub or whatever platform they're working on in order to do anything. So I can see that the secret is valid and might need immediate attention. And I can set policies on what do I want to do in this situation. And I also have those same instructions for remediation down here. If I scroll down a little bit, I can see that I actually have two policy violations here. One is that valid secret. So again, I'm able to see the finding here with a bit more details. I can also click into Endor Labs and see the exact policy that caught this violation. And this other policy violation is an operational one, unused software components. And this is basically where I'm saying I'm telling my developer that you have an unreachable dependency here. This is not a critical risk, but just know that you have imported Apache Commons. This is not the vulnerable version. This is the patched version, but you have imported Apache Commons and you're not actually using it. This might increase your build time. This is an operational risk. Definitely not something that I want to break any builds over, but uh, this is another policy that I violated. Now I'm able to see that I've prioritized the secrets that actually need my attention. Now I've also made it perfectly clear to the developers as they are committing code that they have uh, secrets in their code. And we've also communicated exactly how we want to remediate them so we can take care of these problems quickly.